started on the ground on the Waikato Expressway in October 2015. So we're currently two and a half years into it and one and a half years to go. I'm feeling pretty comfortable we're on track to complete within that time frame. Today we're located on the Northern Interchange's Huntley on-ramp. This has just been constructed and due to switch traffic, the Telpre Summit excavation of 1.3 million cubic metres has progressed very well with 1.1 million now removed and a remaining 150,000 cubic metres of rock which will progress over the next 12 months. We've had 700,000 cubic metres of cut to waste, leaving another 150 to be completed next season. And then all surcharges are now in place and we need 100,000 cubic metres removed next season uh, before 2019. The planting season is now underway for the year and it runs from April to October. We've currently placed 450,000 plants with a 450 to be placed before October and that is remaining 500,000 next season. Pest eradication on the Telpre Scientific Reserve has gone very well over the last two and a half years and the next poisoning campaign is due in September. Included in pest eradication is the goat removal and so far there's 1,206 goats being removed from site. I'm standing here in front of the Mangatoki Toki stream bridge. Now this is the fourth of our uh, four stream bridges on the project. Uh, the first three stream bridges are already open to construction traffic and we're nearing completion of the Mangatoki Toki stream bridge at the moment. We're just getting ready to pour the concrete deck topping on the structure. The McVee and Waring Road bridges are well underway and uh, we're due to commence the Arini Road bridge very shortly. Uh, we're targeting having all of those bridges complete by around Christmas time. Up at the northern end of the project, uh, the Northern Interchange Bridge, we've had the, uh, the Keystone MEC walls and we're now just about to start construction of the bridge abutments. So once the abutments at the Northern Interchange Bridge are complete, we'll move straight into erection of the steelwork and deck construction, uh, aiming to have the deck on that bridge uh, by around the end of this year, Christmas 2018. Uh, hi, I look after the uh, pavements and uh, traffic services on the Huntley uh, section. My team's charged with uh, getting the, um, the, the pavements uh, completed and uh, as you can see behind me here we've got uh, metal surface down and that's the, uh, the sort of start of the, um, of the, the pavement construction um, happening. The pavements are the critical path to the, to the job uh, so um, we have to uh, make sure that every day we can work we do. We're supplied by two Fulton Hogan quarries um, and it's like 300,000 cubic metres of, of base course we've got to bring into the job uh, in that time. Possibly from behind me you can see the, uh, the height of the, the structures. Um, that's uh, from the surface we've got now which is on top of a 900 millimetre layer of uh, subgo improvement layer we call it. Pretty much made up of rock and, uh, and sand and uh, what you see is about 430 mils of the final uh, two layers of pavement to construct. Um, those are actually being built uh, out of, uh, of high lab 65 and 40. HiLab um, is, a, is a, a pioneering solution that NZTA has, um, has got us to build on this job. It's designed to be a uh, cost effective alternative to structural asphalt and it, um, it pretty much comprises of, of very uh, large stone, low fines uh, um, aggregate mix uh, that's cement stabilised uh, in situ. So it, uh, it's designed um, to to be a pretty robust pavement and Huntley is the first of the, uh, of the projects to actually have it done at this scale. Pavements haven't done a lot of work, we've done uh, deviation works and stuff around, uh, around the local roads to enable structures and earthworks to be staged. Probably the, the most notable one is the Northern Interchange where we're in the public eye up there. We've got our high lab constructed, constructed up there and actually been uh, exposed to traffic for about 18 months and it's performing pretty well. In behind the scenes uh, the, the quarries uh, require to um, do an awful lot of pre-qualification of the materials. Uh, in fact the pavements have got an awful lot of uh, uh, lab testing that's required uh, to, to, to meet the specifications. 
you see there that uh, the, the guys are doing Binkham and beam deflections. They've got a truck that's loaded uh, 8.2 tonnes on their back axle and they've got a device which is measuring how much the pavement deflects and re rebounds as it drives away. This gives us a deflection that ties back into the, uh, into the original design and how the uh, designers come up with, uh, with the pavement thicknesses and stuff. So at each layer as we build um, up through the job we do deflection testing at very um, regular intervals so we start with very very soft clay subgrades you know you can't almost drive across and then by the time we've got to the top layer which is something like 1.4 meters above that uh, we've got very stiff pavement and um, and that's what we need to uh, to be able to accommodate the heavy vehicles that drive on our highways these days.